consistent pressure with the Discord Orb. It has to be a sick bio nade. They're gonna push forward aggressively like this one, but nice little knockdown, and Gavin is very charged up. Graviton surged in, and everyone's caught on that one. This is gonna hurt. Cover your eyes, children. Sky down, Gooseway charged up against the wall. Only even in Vertalia, they're gonna get shoved on out of this one. A pretty simple all pushed back off the point here, and Gooseway's a little bit isolated from the rest of his team. Hurriedly, he scurries back to his backline. Fraggy, cheeky attempt there to get that Earth Shatter in behind the shield. But the Chinese squad have run out of time. And it's, you know, win the war of attrition by working them down with people like Davin76, but Timon gets a little bit too close for comfort. Davin trying to get some work done, but most of the shots have been pounded into Gooseway's shield just to make sure he can't protect the rest of his team. Oh, Shaz, it's a late transcendence. Leave it already found Davin, and Davin was removed from the equation prior. So it does very little else other than prolonging the fight. It gives Finland a little bit of extra control percentage, but that's all they're going to get for this fight. Finland probably will switch now as well. Quite invited to the party, Gooseway, but it's not like Finland really had a choice. Big Earth Shatter, three players knocked down. Gooseway now is on the Graviton, leaves there. Good body grenade from China to try and keep themselves alive, but it may have just paid off. Zach was knocked up against the wall. And again, it is Gooseway's Reinhardt headlining that particular fight with a beautiful Earth Shatter. Brick into, yeah, it's pretty filthy. A lot of durability, especially if she pops her rally during the mid fight. Zappos comes in now with that self destruct. Oh. He finds two. He absolutely needed to find Sky and Evil Town. They're down. Shy now can't do too much more except try and swing and flail, no pun intended. The Gooshu is back in the fight. Zappos is in trouble and they got off the points. Oh no, he. Stone Cold! Giving healing, but also literally doing janitorial work for Finland in this fight. Shaz goes down, so Shy was actually able to isolate him, but Sky is also removed. So there's Zinyana now for China. That's a big part of their healing that's going to be missing. He was working towards his next transcendence. And, and Finland wants to commit to this fight, Mitch, because it's gone so long that if they don't kind of commit on this second attempt with players coming off of spawn, you're going to have, you're going to use so many ultimates, and then you're going to give up like 60% of the point. So they have to commit. Now they're moving on in. China backs out. They'll change some things up sitting very far back. That is what we definitely consider passive positioning for a McCree, but he has to play this way right now. There's so many things up here that can cause him problems. Seven blocks off that Earth Shadow, but Taibu is actually grounded right now. He manages to pick himself back up to his feet. He rolls forward into that engagement. He's got a lot of damage now. McCree so good late in the fight for a cleanup. And that self destruct gets two! How is that even possible? Finland allowed themselves to lose both of their supports, or two of them at the very least, to that self destruct and now Gooshui and the rest of China will absolutely oblige and step forward to finish the fight quickly. And now do you have time? A lot of ultimates, but Finland not able to take the point. This is where they absolutely need to be able to push forward with Davin. This late grab has to be the answer for them. He didn't get eaten, but it only catches Lei Young. He starts up against the wall. He doesn't get kept alive. The mech is removed from the equation, but Finland have to get to the point. Over time is ticking down. Shai finds two. It's Frankie and Devin both fall to the brigade of unbelievable China in a position to turn this around. Finland don't get a foot on the point. And they give away Matt. Defensively, one that also wants to get aggressive, finds out that perhaps they just extended a little bit too far or could never really get started. It looks like they're going to go back for a touch here as Davin tries to get a hack off and leave. That rocket punch sends him flying right into the wall. I just <laughs> death is, uh, you know, now they're going to have to back up off the point. This will go over to China very quickly. Links are finding himself uh, a little bit outclassed so far on, on the Doomfist position. Ton of the healing. This will be the Dragon Blade, though. Let's see if Crystal can get anything. A perfect opportunity here for Crystal to come forward. He's looking for Davin Force to reflect for just a moment, but he gets one. Just one, though. His Lynxer shuts him down. The Sleep Dart was there. I saw that, Shaz. Don't worry. Lay on. You know, sojourn in jail very briefly. Didn't have to get out of jail free. No chance of dying here. That'll be the nano boost. Let's see what they decide to do oh, with it. Is, oh, so nice look at these supports. They're getting so low. Big Goose is in deep trouble. He's lucky to get away. Gooseway had to just sort of take his foot off the gas for a moment and round back and help the rest of his team deal with Zappos on the payload. But China, they are so good at playing this aggressive brand of Overwatch, Matt. And Finland have been getting isolated and taken down one at a time. Repair pack briefly, and that's the Earth Shatter. But Lei Yang was the only one close enough to be damaged by it. Everyone from China can sit back in long range and just pummel this shield down. So much damage available now. The self destruct coming in over the top. It does get Zappos out of his mech. Fraggy wants to return to the point. Lee pushes up. Links are knocked into the background. Here he tries to charge forward. A late Soundberry coming in. It won't quite be enough, though. Even that, Linkser has to step back. He got hit by a bite of grenade, and Gooseway drops down. Lee still staying in the front line here. Fraggy's getting low. The War of Trish is looking pretty good for the Chinese squad here up in the air. Is Links are knocked. Big Goose trying to come forward. He has a little bit of health in that Lucio, but again, it's six versus one for him. It's all too hard. Links are trying to stall things out on the payload now on a self-destruct to buy some time. It gets the DC on Lei Young, but again, who is there from Finland? The answer, no one!
can just contest like this. And if they have the trap set right behind the Orisa shield, so you can't dive through there. Oh no, Lixa goes in, but the trap was there. Leave left him uh, some milk and cookies. Unfortunately, it wasn't a good type. Tries to come in with a Dragon Blade, and now Fraggy knows that he's essentially done. Gushway on the cleanup. Finner essentially, well, they're out of this one. They've got two more minutes left, and they need to come up with a different... So, you know, China's doing a tremendous job here on defense. You're going to have Crystal switch over to Tracer. They're not done fighting this. They're going to fight it till the end. There's... See, Linkser takes out Late Young. There goes Gushway. So you lose both your tanks. That'll pretty much be the point. So now you have... So this is what they used to play back in the day in Contenders, right? A lot of dive. David on the Tracer, links are on Genji. We'll see if it's a setup for China. They're looking so good. And we're in overtime already now for Finland to try and get even second stage done. That might be it. Zap was taken down by Lei Young. Only four players left on the side of Finland. Here he is looking dire indeed. Sky sets a nano boost away. And Gushu is going to be more than happy to lap up the distressed Omnic. Jumping forward now. And it will just be links that will be removed. And overtime is about done. And China, oh, they're more than one step ahead. I'll tell you that. Miles ahead of Finland. Zero time to react to that. Oh my, they're all on the point already. And the Beltel is taken down straight away. Now, Lynx's teleport is done, but it's only needed to be one way in this particular case. They're definitely not pressing S. They're not backing away at all. It's super funny. I never actually thought a you know, professional caliber team would use that strategy, but uh, you know, I think we were playing a few games, like maybe it was a week or so, and we kind of ran the same thing, but we ran a Bastion just because... Definitely would have used that as any not? indication that any player in their right mind would want to use it in a competitive well, match, but here we are. Well, oh, look, I mean, it, it's really devastating. He's back in the fight, he's returned to the fray, as it were, but Linksa has a dead eye from the high ground here. This could be nasty. He gets leave as he tries to hide behind a pillar, and Finland are definitely getting rolling now. China does have the ability to solve this out, though. Here's going to be the transcendence. Late Young does get taken <laughs> out by Linkser. Now you're going to be able to do the base stall, right? You have you know, the, the ice block now, going to heal herself up. It extends the time that they're able to get players back. I mean, Linkser, they're clever. He knew he could get that kill through the Blizzard, or through the Transcendence, should I say. Blizzard gets dropped down now. Crystal off to the side of the point. Doesn't have an ice block available, and he is taken out pretty quickly. Sky and Evil Tile have had a chance to sit under the bubble of the Winston at the back and continue to give healing to the rest of their team. But now that time has expired, they now have to face the music here. And Linkser was hoping for more than just Lei Young here, but it'll have to settle. Gushway now down to him. The extra dead eye damage helped him blow out the bubble. And this Linkser man is starting to get rolling. The McCree looking much better for Finland than it did earlier on in this series. And Lee can't get much done. Just makes a fancy entrance as the point is taken. And that was definitely an improvement for Team knock them into a wall. You get extra damage if they hit a wall. That's the most important part of Rocket Punch. And you can see how quickly Gushway has melted down, even though we have the nano boost. Shaz able to find him. Now it's going to be the EMP from Lee, but this is where it gets a little bit scary. Shaz just melted. Lee was easily able to get the extra damage on Zappos' mech. So with just a few players, China now can move up towards the point. And there's no way Philon can stop them. Right now, they feel like the Doomfist will be most effective. China changing their strategy. No more going for the high ground. They're going to go through main. Oh, oh. who the links are in? Oh, who let the supports out? It's evil to on Sky just get removed straight away. <laughs> and Lixie, you have a big glove for a reason. You don't have to use the ungloved one to punch. That's, that is really nasty. You know, with a headshot to take him out. Frankie looks nervous in that fight. He took a little bit too much damage early on. He goes for the Primal Rage, but he was Discord ordered pretty much straight away. So he's still kind of vulnerable. Transcendence using the back line, but I can't say Big Goose from it. Oh no. Now feeling it again, trying to make do with what they have, but Zappos can't even get back into the mech. Links are trying to make ends meet now. He Meteor strikes up, he'll drop down on the point. Presumably, the crystal just gets shielded. He bounces straight off. Links that does not stick to his target. Z uh, Frankie again trying to throw himself in, and there's an EMP. Quite well placed. A lot of people affected by it, but no boots on the point for Finland. And so China will take it, despite everyone being EMP. Still able to regroup actually up towards the point. Sky is still sitting right in the background. You can see him on the right hand side of your screen through the silhouette. And now the fight's beginning on the point. So Gushway drops in, Links gets out quickly, took a bit of damage early on. Both these teams are sort of dancing around each other, but here it is, the Dano Blade coming out from Crystal. Shaz, the man is no more. And Crystal, somewhat frustrated that they didn't have more targets to fall prey of the Blade, but trying to dug deep for those ultimates. They bring they do you have an EMP to use here for both teams? Let's see who can land a bigger one. Oh, that's pretty nasty. That's right in the corridor. Shaz immediately taken down by Lee, Links are following now. Oh, Zappers, what can you do about that one? Even the sound barrier used by China. This is quite astonishing. They have 40 seconds left in the round. It looks like they might actually be able to finish the entire map.
That's a huge way of turning things on their heads. Transcendence comes to the point where Shaz is a little bit sad. There's no one to benefit from his healing. He's going to pop out of Transcendence and immediately crumble. One tick on the point for China now. Finland getting set up to try and stall this out as much as they can. Gushua has Primal Rage though. He can stop Zappos entirely. There is someone contesting on the point, but Zappos won't have a chance to do that himself. It is Big Goose down. Links are removed and China! Oh Lord! in on towards the point. This is going to force a movement now from China. They have to come forward, but Evil Tile is a little bit busy in the background as are Sky. They're not really there to heal the main yeah. tanks. So Gooseway, as a result, wasn't able to commit to the fight. There weren't healing resources available from the draw on. Clever that he didn't engage, but that time lost also means that China now are in a terrible position to fight from. Yeah, and when Leave goes in there to just try and get one kill as the Doomfist, that's really where the fight is determined. Uh, just a victory grab <laughs> comes out from Linkser, but so quick on Doomfist and then Crystal obviously invisible as Sombra and the Doomfist goes into the back line, they connect with it. I leave this down. Now we do see Prime, uh, so we do see Nano Boost actually use the Gooseway there, so keeps him alive for quite a while. Self-destruct and Dead Eye, I mean they kind of, it's a bit of a non-bow really because they self-destruct's forcing people out of sight lines, Lynx wants to be in those. And now the Transcendence comes out after the fact, Shaz is down, leaves switch to the Widowmaker, a little bit of spice here. Zap is trying to stay alive behind the little pillar, but no, he's eventually pushed back and leave us down to Red Hell. It's Linksa, second on the chopping block. Big Goose not far behind, and somehow China might be able to take this map away. They were so far behind, and yet Gushwe knows it just doesn't matter. Zap is desperately trying to get back towards the point now. We're in overtime. Finland was supposed to take this. They were supposed to take it to one more map, but instead, it's China to stand tall. And now the Giants from the north. We'll be sent back home.